Hi, I'm Joe Gibson, club captain of the women's football team. Good afternoon, uh, Richard Warburton, head coach of the women's football. Yeah, excellent, excellent win today for the girls. Uh, final game of the season, we're playing Birmingham. Um, seven, seven goals to zero was the final score. Very professional performance. Uh, we secured the league title last week away to Loughborough. So it was just about coming here and, and getting the result to secure another unbeaten season for women's football, which we achieved with a, a really strong performance and that's really pleasing heading into the playoffs. Great opportunity for us to go into the playoffs. Um, it's our second season unbeaten, which is really impressive. And towards the end, we just maintained possession. So we could have probably got a couple more had we wanted to. So it's, it's really positive going into playoffs and hopefully towards the national championship final. Secret? Uh, hard work. We can't really give that out. Uh, yeah, we can't really give that out. Yeah, hard work for sure. Um, real positive bunch of girls that turn up on match day and absolutely have a desire to win. Um, and, and you see that week in, week out. And this is two years now. We've gone unbeaten and another fantastic achievement. So hopefully this is the year we can finally get that national championship that's eluded us over the last two. Um, I think we have, a, we have a really strong squad. We've just added a third team, which is really positive. Um, we have a lot of first-year uh, first players that are coming through the third team, which will hopefully impact the first and second team next year, which I think is really good. And women's sport is just growing, especially football at college level. So there's a lot of opportunities for everybody to play. And um, the first team is leading the way by hopefully winning or striving to win a national championship this year. I think it's really positive all around. Uh, just, just, just the way we've grown. I mean, I've been at the university now for well, six, possibly seven years, I'm afraid to say. And, and just. The, the way we've travelled in that, in that journey over the past six or seven years, not just women's football, but across a, across a range of sports and absolutely now the, the number one team sport in Britain and that's something to be very proud of. Um, and, and women's football, thankfully, uh, are a side that are very, uh, one of our very strong programmes in national championship this year and will have completed the job. Hi, I'm Henry Wallace. Uh, I'm in the men's fencing first team. We've just finished our last match of the Northern Premier League, meaning we've won the league, uh, having just beaten Birmingham. Our team's start, started strong and got even better, I feel. We won the league as well last year. Uh, we've had a few new additions this year, but they've all come in well. And we're just getting stronger and stronger. It's looking really good for the Cup. Our team's secret, I reckon, compared to a lot of other teams I've seen in particular, is how much of a bond we have. We're all always at training. If anyone's not there, it's very very important to us, we always get onto them about why, we're always out on socials, we've got a very good spirit I feel. We've got this purpose built south, so we've always got peace set up, we can just come get on with training, we don't have to worry about kit breaking or having to set up boxes or anything else. And it's kind of like I said before as well about the spirit, all our teams are very enthusiastic and all good friends. Well, now we've got a few weeks off to prepare for the cup, which encompasses everyone in the, in the country. Um, since we won our league, we'll have a, a bye through the round of 16, which means we'll go straight into the quarterfinals against someone from the south, maybe Bath or Bristol. Um, so we'll just have to train and see how that goes. Should be alright. Hi, I'm Elliot Hayden. Uh, I play centre back for the DUFC uh, 1 football team. Uh, we just played Sheffield Hallam in the league and won 4 0. Hi, I'm Dan Field, again another centre half, and uh, yeah, very good win today. As a team, uh, we were tuning up at half time. As a constable, first half, we were playing well, um, outplaying the uh, opposition. They were chucking quite a lot of men forward, so defensively, we had quite a lot to do. I think it was back. And then, second half, a fairly similar situation because those guys, Sheffield Hallam, were fighting for relegation, so they were chucking men forward, but we had to be resilient and, and defend properly. Yeah. yeah, they were a very physical side, so it was a, it's a tough game for us, unlike most of the teams in the league who like to play football, they like to go direct, so it was an especially tough job for us, getting a lot of headers, a lot of big tackles, so a uh, good win. Yeah, yeah, we have to, um, especially a stage in the second half, first 10, 15 minutes, they really started to up the tempo and we sort of, we dropped off a bit and we had to get back, assert ourselves back into the game through midfield, get some challenges in and then we can start again and play our football. We just outplayed them all over the pitch. To be honest, a lot of the teams that we play, we probably do outplay them quite a lot. Um, but I think the difference with today is that we managed to finish our chances um, and we are able to score four in the league. I mean, we don't do that very often and, then, and also clean, keep a clean sheet, which the centre-backs are very, very pleased with. So, yeah, one thing would be, the, uh, would be outplaying them. Yeah, well, we, um, we've improved a lot as a team as the season's went on. Um, first two, three games, we were nowhere near the level we are now. Um, and now we are starting to, with that win, we played well last couple of days. We played Newcastle at the weekend, Loughborough before, played well. Come back from the Christmas holidays and we, 
we're ready for the uh, next stage now to hopefully go on and go far in the Nationals. Yeah, I think we're playing really nice football at the moment, which has given us a lot of confidence because now we're going into the National Championship, so we're playing, we might be playing teams in the Southern League, Southern Premiership, and, um, and so yeah, we're, we're really confident with the way we're playing, and which is exactly what you need in a knockout competition. Well, I think we've um, developed a lot of confidence already, coming in, especially for me coming in as a fresher. It's definitely um, took me three games to get used to the club, and now getting back into it, it's uh, developed a lot of confidence around the boys and just general um, communication skills and just things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a third year. My first year I didn't quite make it into the club. Uh, in my second year I made it into the UFC uh, football team one, uh, twos and now I'm in, in the ones team and I've really built up a lot of confidence. I mean, the training and coaching we get here at, at DFC is, is very good um, and I think probably the one aspect I've improved the most in is the, the ability to like, pick passes out, um, which I admit I was probably slightly weaker on at the start of the season especially. Um, but with coaching and the encouragement, the way the manager likes us to play uh, has really developed that side of my game. So.